Hello everyone, welcome back to another Python tutorial, and this time I'll just be explaining one of my pre-written projects, and this is an example on how to use a support vector machine. And for this video, I think I'll just explain the creation of the data, and then organizing it so that we can actually use it. The next video on this topic will likely be with the machine learning aspect of it involved, but for this part it's just going to be mostly just pandas. Alright, so I'm on Kaggle.com using their notebook feature, and I'm just importing some libraries here. We got NumPy, pandas, and pyplot. Alright, so first I'm just going to create the data. For most projects you won't be creating your own data, you'll just be like getting it from some kind of data set. So, you know, I set the random seed to zero. If you want to follow along, you would just also type zero here. Then I make a function where I create a bunch of points on a graph. So I create a hundred points. The coordinates I use are polar, then I convert them to Cartesian. I want them inside of a circle like around the origin of radius 5. As you can see, that is exactly what we have here. Alright. So we return those values and we get a basically two lists with all of our point data inside of them. Now we plot and this is just some basic plotting procedure. I do set the different x limbs and y limbs, so like the x max is 10 and the x min is negative 10, y max is 10, y minimum is negative 10. Alright, so this is our first group of points. And then we create another group. So same deal here, the only thing that's really different is this line, where I define the radius differently. So it's going to create a ring around the previous circle. Because you can see here we have um, np.random.ranf ran f times 5 plus 5. So the times 5 is the same as before, but by adding 5 to that, we now go from 5 to 10 instead of 0 to 5. And you can see here what the effect is. And you can also kind of guess how we're going to separate it or how the machine is going to separate it. It's going to like draw a circle around the blue dots to separate the blue ones from the red ones. And then that will be just, um, I guess, the inside will be highlighted blue and the outside will be highlighted red to show that that's where the separation occurs. All right, so now we turn it into a data frame and we add the identification for the first set of points that are like the blue ones right here. All right, actually, let me see. Yeah, no problem. All right, so you can see here, this is the head of the data frame. And then the second set, we also turn it into a data frame, except this time the target is one instead of zero. So that's going to be what our model uses to identify, or I guess classify the two types of points. Um, yeah, so now I join them. And here's a sample. Five samples right here. So if you do the math, it's actually correct. So yeah, and that's about it for this video, just how to create some points on a graph and then turn them into the same data frame. Now for the next video we'll be ready to actually use sklearn and some support vector machine model to separate group 1, which is the blue ones, from the red ones, which are group 2. 
So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.